Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys today on how to set up PSNs inside of your Promox server. And we're going to be doing this by setting up our own virtual network inside of Promox by isolating it from your physical network. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this. So the first thing that we're actually gonna do here, I do have here a few notes so I can follow myself so you guys can follow as well. So first that we're just going to make a zone for the Promox which is going to be a virtual network. So we're gonna to go to SDN zone, BNet subnet. So from here, data center, SDN zone, we're going to create a new zone and you're gonna pick simple. We're going to give it a name. I'm gonna just keep this really simple. Let's say this is the PFSense uh, net. Oh, wait, that's too big. Let's, put, let's just put it uh, PFNet. I'm gonna add that. Now from here, I'm gonna to go to the BNet and we're going to create a BNet. We're gonna make this one a PFSense net alias. Oh, it's too big as well. Okay then, PFSense. Right here, let's just call this the, the network. And we're going to select the zone that we just created, PFNet, and create that there. Now you're gonna select it and you're going to select the subnet for it and create one. Now for this example, I am going to be choosing uh, just this random subnet. You can really choose whichever you want. It can be a, a private or a public IP class. I'm just gonna pick like a random one and easy just to just for the example of this video. So 10.10.10.0. And the gateway 10.10.10.100. I'm going to create that. Now, once that's done, go back to SDN and you're going to apply this. Apply this right now. Click on yes, and it should pop up here the network that we see has created. Just give that a few seconds to pop up. Okay, you can see it here. It's already available. And up oh, there it is. Perfect. Now, this PSN, I already have it set up, but I already set it to factory reset. So we're going to do all the process. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to select a WAM and a LAN. So obviously we're going to use the local network of mine for the LAN, I mean, for the WAM, which would be this one. And for the LAN, it's obviously it's going to be this one. So we're going to go to the PSN, to the hardware part, and we're going to add, a network drive we're going to add two so here we're going to select one we already see you can already see here the one that we just made we're going to select that one add it now we're going to add another one and we're going to click here for the wham and there it is we already have that set up now we're just going to turn on the computer here we're going to start that up now, the, the way that you're going to be able to access this network to do the configuration, you need to have a virtual machine already set up for this. So, but that virtual machine needs to be connected to, to the LAN that you already have set up here. So in this case, I'm going to use here a virtual machine that has Windows 7. Uh, you can test that out with any other uh, Windows that, that you want. I also have here Windows 10, but I'm just gonna use this one, so it's pretty fast. So I'm just gonna wait for this to boot up. Now let's just give this a few seconds to hold up. It's basically this is uh, set up to default. Now let's get that a few more minutes. It's going to fast forward this part. Okay, we, it's already here. Now it says, do you want to set up VLANs? We're actually not gonna do that. So we're gonna click on now. Now we're going to select the WAM interface. So we have here the two MAC addresses. So the WAM in my case would be this one. So the one ending the MAC address 64. So that would be BTNet1. So we're gonna put here BTNet1, enter. Now for the LAN, BTNet0, enter. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Okay, now that, now that, as that is getting ready, now we're gonna go to the windows that you pick for, to connect the LAN so we can set it up properly. Now I'm gonna, gonna go here, go to hardware, and we're going to add the network drive. So you can select the, 
the network device that we that we made. In our case would be this one. Add it. Perfect. Now we're just gonna wait for that to uh, to turn it on in a few minutes. Let's wait for this to finish. And as that is finished, I'm gonna turn on the virtual machine. Yeah, let's give that a second. Should be really quick. But yeah, it's gonna be so quick, it's gonna literally skip this. Whoop, there it is. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now in here, oh, okay, perfect. It already booted up. Now I can see here it shows from my IP, the 172.16100.145. This is my physical IP pool from my house. And this is the LAN network, the 192.168.1.1. This is always going to be the default one. So now that we already have this part set up, now we can go to the Windows computer. And okay, I can see I already found it. Perfect. Select that. I just want to confirm that here. It's just the, the, the console so we can see it bigger. Okay, so I click on fix. Okay, there it is. Okay, it already picked it up. So we need to configure that. I'm just gonna open Edge. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the IP address 192.168. Oops, dot one, dot one. I'm gonna enter. Okay, perfect. Now I can proceed. Continue. Now the default uh, PSNs would be admin, and the password would be uh, the default password PFSense. Sign in. Just give that a second. Okay, perfect. Okay, now that you're in here already and you log in, I'm going to set uh, the WAM into static, and we're going to disable as well IPv6 because we actually don't need that. So I'm going to disable IPv6 so I don't have any conflict with anything else. So IPv6, I'm going to disable the server for it. We don't need to do this. And to save that, apply that. And I'm also going to change this warning that you have here. This is supposed to be, it says that it's going to reach end of life. So I'm going to put it on this one, via PHP. Save that. And now to also disable another part of, uh, of IPv6, I want to go here into services, router advertisement. I don't want to use this. Save that. Now from here, I'm going to pick our web. I'm going to put this as static because that's what we want to do it. We don't want this IP to change and disable this because I do not want to use it. Now we should not get any errors for that. Now we're going to add the IP that we want to use. So in this case, it will, for me, on the physical ad, uh, address that I have would be 172.16.100 and I'm going to pick number let's put 88. And we're going to save that. Okay, perfect. Now it says apply the changes. Okay, now that's done. Now we're going to add the gateway. Now go to routing. Here we go. I'm going to click on add. At the server, I'm just going to give it a name. I was going to say this is the, the main gateway. The IP for my gateway will be 172.16.100.150. Now this is the one that is going to literally give internet to your VMs. So I'm going to just give out the screenshot slides, just don't forget. Internet for VMs. Save. Oh, that's right. I need to go, oh, I made a mistake here. I need to go back to the WAM. And I need to change this from 32 to 24. Now save that. Apply. Now we can go back to system, routing, and gateways. Add it again, give it a name. I'm going to choose that one and the gateway, which would be my physical gateway. And now it should let us save it. There we go. Apply. Perfect. Now we're going to go back to interface. Wham. I'm going to add it here in the IPv4 upstream gateway. Here it is. Perfect. We add that. Apply it. And now your computer should have internet. Now we're going to add the rules for the, the WAM that we, because we're going to change this 
to the uh, subnet that we made on our Chrome box, which in my case was 10.10.10.0. But I'm going to put this one as the one that I set for the gateway, 10.10.10.100. So I'm going to go here. We're going to make the rules first for this. We're going to go to firewall. We're going to mat, outbound. We're going to change this to hybrid. I'm going to save that part, apply that. And now we're going to go here to add, change a few things. RAM can stay like that. The address family, IPv4 only, protocol any. Now the source would be here, network alias. Put the subnet that ECS create that you're going to be using. In my case, 10.10.10.0.24. Leave it like that. I'm just going to put here internet for VMs. Now you're going to save that. And there it is, apply the changes. And now we're going to make another rule. And this is going to be the, for the LAN. So now we're gonna go here into firewall. Now rules. Now this one, you actually don't need to do it, but I have found out that there's like a few um, bugs on PFSense. And when I tried to use uh, for Linux machine, it didn't have internet. So when you add this rule, uh, for whatever reason, it will get internet, the, the Linux computers. So it's going to add here, pass, LAN, protocol, any. Now the source, network, source address 10.10.10.0, 24. And this one, internet for Linux. I'm going to apply that. And now we're actually going to change and do the setup wizard. Because now we're actually going to change this to the IP that we're going to be using. We should already have everything set up. Now from here, we should have in our RAM, static, the gateway set up, perfect. Now we just need to go here, back to setup wizard, next, next. Uh, this is just an example, so I'm going to just leave this. Uh, default and just change this here as a test next I'm gonna leave the default next now the WAM I already changed it from there so we don't need to touch anything here oh wait my mistake we do need to just disable this part here block so we actually we don't want to block the, the internet from the WAM so just uncheck that this was my mistake Next, and now here we're going to change the LAM IP to 10.10.10.100. Now, next, update the password for it. Next, reload. Okay, now as that is reload, we should be able to, to log in. Let me just uh, close this. I cannot see the CMD part. It's going to open this now from here. That's not going to load. It's going to get stuck. Now we should, in theory, we should have now an internet on this computer. Open another console. Okay. I should have the all IP. We still do. So I'm going to do IP config slash release. Okay. It's gone. Now let's renew it and get the new IP address from the pool that we just set up. We get that a few seconds. Okay, and there it is. Now we should be able to log in with the new IP, 10.10.100. There we have it. Put this full screen, continue. Now put admin and the password that you just made. Okay. And there it is, we have it set up. So now the Windows computers, do we have internet? Now we just, I just wanna double check if the Linux computer already have internet as well. So we're gonna see it there. Okay, perfect, it has internet. Now I'm just gonna turn on this computer, which it has the Docker. Now, network, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna edit this. This was an old one that I had for this as net. And here for bridge, we're going to pick this one. i put that as dynamically. Click OK. Perfect. 
now it's just going to console. Okay, so I'm the doctor. I should be able to pin it. Let's see the IP. Okay, so they're grabbing IP. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Pin. Okay, it looks like it's not working. That's all right. So, and there's something this does glitch out. So I think I would need to restart the, the server, the PSN server. So let me see if they grab it here. Okay, so I did grab it here, the Docker. Perfect. So let's just give that a, a, a restart here. So it says reboot the system. Five. Yes, rebooting. Okay, let's just give this a few seconds. I must just fast forward this part as this finish loading. Okay, it's almost done. Let's see. Okay, let me go here on the windows. Let's reboot this, yes. Okay, let's boot it up. Sign in again. Now I should be able to pin here. It has service. And let's see the doctor. And there we go. It has service. So sometimes it will get like stuck and it just needs like a little reboot. But there, it's already set up. Okay, guys, well, you have successfully set up PFSEN inside of Promox with networking already configured for Windows and Linux computers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it, you found it very easy to follow. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.